Hi, everybody. Molly with Cat Behavior Solutions here with your VitaCraft bonding tip of the week. This week's bonding tip is make toy boxes for your cats. Now, what I mean is, you know, instead of just having the toys spread all over the house, keep them confined to a box. Now, it can be something as simple as just a little, a little box. And this is actually Pico's um, box, his toy box that we keep on the bed because at night sometimes he wants to play and I need to toss the toys off the bed so he can go chasing them. As you can see behind me, <laughs> he has two more toy boxes for the living room and he's in the process of scattering all his toys. So what it does is it kind of gets you in a habit every night of picking up his toys as you go to bed. And so I pick up all the toys, I put them back in the box and then this happens. He finds them because they seem like they're new. They're in a different place and he can rummage through the toy box and find things he hasn't seen in a while and pull one out and play with it. Like he's so conveniently demonstrating to you right now. <laughs> the big one I have here, this wicker basket, I'll put moving toys in like floppy fish and things like that. Or I'll toss a ball in there and he dives into it. And because it's wicker, he likes to scratch on it. So make a toy box for your cat. Not only does it keep you encouraged to keep your house tidy and clean, which cats like, by the way, but it also resets the toys so that they are more interested in them. And anytime you're responsible for something that they enjoy, they appreciate it. And appreciation leads to more bonding. So have a great time playing with your cat this week. And until next time, Keep calm and purr on.